Uh, good morning. My name is Larry Jefferson. I'm the Director of Public Defense uh, for the State of Washington, and it's a pleasure to be here this morning. I want you to take the bold step uh, and, and uh, learn something from the 50 years of war on drugs, and that is that we need to decriminalize. Um, we can't coerce people into treatment. We should take advantage of our uh, laws that we have to allow us to uh, involuntarily commit people uh, if they have drug problems. Uh, we should use our lead. Um, uh, also getting to the point of the financial cost right now, if you criminalize, fully fund public defense, fully fund it all over the, uh, uh, the state, um, uh, especially uh, in your municipal courts uh, right now, we have part-time public defenders, part-time judges, and part-time prosecutors. Uh, if you're gonna do this, give them uh, the money, but also uh, provide uh, the, uh, the treatment to do so. I, I heard some stats on uh, uh, before uh, Blake, there was 9,000 people who, were, uh, who uh, got drug offenses. Only 3% of them uh, got into a drug court. So to, to, so to think that we're gonna get 50% of this pretrial uh, population uh, at 50 percent of the 12,000 cases that I heard that would be like if Jesus showed up uh, and, and happened uh, and the other thing is you're gonna need to fund the, 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 the lab because I as a defense attorney is gonna demand that information on every single one of these cases and that's gonna slow them down I'm gonna slow you down. You don't wanna give this to, we don't wanna make employment for attorneys and this is what recriminalization does. Uh, I don't wanna, I already need 70 attorneys across the state of Washington uh, right now. And so we're gonna increase that that caseload. There's Larry, all, I need you to conclude and- I, I, I know, uh, I'll just say of, one the more. The threat of more attorneys is gonna cause me to yeah. cut off your microphone. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> one, uh, uh, yes, one more thing. There's a national ABA study on caseloads involving public defenders and it's gonna recommend that all public defenders get less of a caseload than they have right now. Uh, and that's gonna have uh, really big implications. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, points taken.